Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show with your hosts, Lee Silver and Ellen Goodwin. Welcome to another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better show. I'm your co-host, Ellen Goodwin. Hi, I'm Lee Silver. I'm sorry. I was springing forward. (laughs) You sprang forward. You were okay. Yeah. (laughs) So I'm guessing you want to talk about springing forward since we just did. Yeah, I never really gave it much thought until this year, for whatever reason, I feel like it did affect my productivity, which affects my efficiency, which affects my sleep. Uh huh. I, I will actually, my agree. sleep affects those other two. The other <laughs> I way will around. agree. This is the first time I think I've really felt slammed by it. Yeah, it's like having jet lag from flying to Australia or something. That is a perfect. <laughs> I haven't been perfect. there, but I've heard it's a long flight. It's a long flight. I've been there. Um, but yeah, that is like a perfect description. It's it's not a terrible thing. It just feels like everything's a little less on point. Yeah, and statistics bear this out. There's more workplace incidents. There's more car wrecks. There's more um, people just not show up. A lot of people not showing up for work on time. <laughs> uh, just not able to, uh, you know, to get it together. Which I think sometimes when you're tired, you know, they always do those studies. They have you right. they have someone driving when they're alert and driving when they're tired and they hit all the cones when they're tired. You know, you lose some of your motor skills, you lose some of your focus, you lose some of your decision making ability and you add all that together and you're not at your best. That is, is spot on. And that it is exactly how it feels right now. So that plus you're grumpy. Plus you're grumpy. <laughs> plus you're grumpy. <laughs> I hope that wasn't uh, directed at me. No, no, we've had a few days to. We're 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 in Australia. <laughs> we're looking at dangos and wallabies and koalas. We've had a couple of days to get used to it, and it's getting better, but still. Well, I mean, what do you do about it? Exactly. So, I mean, other than if you're in Arizona and maybe Guam or somewhere, you're going to have to deal with this springing forward. And and when we spring forward, we lose an hour of sleep. So right away. It's obvious we should maybe go to bed a little earlier, plan uh, plan ahead, meaning instead of working out early in the morning, work out the night before so you don't have to get up earlier to work out. Okay. Maybe, you know, don't make those complicated breakfasts that take a long time. <laughs> have something, have that Jimmy Dean thing where you just <laughs> put it in the microwave and 15 seconds later you're eating eggs. Uh, I, I would say maybe lay out your outfit, know what you're going to wear and do that the night before. Things so you could get that extra 20 30 minutes of sleep that you uh you're missing an hour but we're trying to make up at least half of it what do you think well i think um i think all of these the stuff you're saying is you just want to make it easier to get into the groove and give yourself you know you don't have to make so many decisions because if you're groggy and you're not feeling on top of things making decisions is hard so you want to eliminate those decisions. And then each time you're doing something successful, you do get a little hit of dopamine, which is going to make you feel a little bit better. So I think what we really have to do is be gentle with ourselves and set ourselves up for success for that first week. Do what we need to do, like we would do if we were traveling. Do you remember traveling? It was a thing. Uh, vaguely. Yeah. I, used to be a thing. That actually is a really good point about the, the comparison between, you know, what we're dealing with in the spring and what we're dealing with when we when we travel to a different time zone, especially yeah. extreme time zone, um, is it just takes you a while to catch up. But sometimes you're, I mean, it depends where you are, but sometimes at this time of year, it's it's light really uh, late. It's later, meaning, and so it's dark out and you're waking up thinking, Ugh, already your mood is blah. Right. Why am I waking up in the dark? Yeah, but we have that extra time at the <clears throat> end of the day to do all those things that we probably couldn't have done, if, especially if you know, you'd know you like to do them where there's daylight. So there's more chance to get your activity in in the evening, which I think, you know, it depends on your routine. You said dopamine. Working out in the morning does set you up for a good day. There's, Definitely. there's statistics prove that. But um, and a lot of people say, if I don't get my work in before 9 a.m., I'm not going to do it. That would be me. Too much, yeah, too much that can get in the way. Um, but I'm just saying for the short window of time where you're adapting and, and what's another word you're adapting and you're, you're 
Going with and you're the adapting. Weird, yeah, you're adapting. <laughs> <And> you're adapting. <laughs> this is the time to maybe make some changes to your routine. That that is not a, a bad idea. I'm, you know, we've gotten so used to. I had at least. Hey, it's six o'clock. It's getting light out. Boom. Let's go for a walk. And now it, it's seven when the sun starts to come up, and I don't really particularly want to be walking in the dark. So all of a sudden. By the time I leave for a walk, I'm I'm behind. And so I'm trying to, okay, what could I do now during the time I'm usually working out that's going to be good because I'm going to use, I'm going to be an hour behind. And so if I can, does that make sense? I can do stuff ahead of time before I work out. Um, and I'm still wrapping my head around what's the best thing I can do there. Yeah, and I'll I'll end with this. I like the way that <clears throat> we say spring forward and fall back. And just the way it's said makes you understand what you're supposed to do with your clock. And so if those of us who our memory isn't great, wait, what am I supposed to do in the spring? Spring forward. So when we attach those kind of easy to remember ways of, oh, that's Bob and he's hairy and he looks like a bear. <laughs> so then I remember Bob the bear and now I can remember his name. Some of those things are actually uh, efficient when you can make it so that the word or description or uh, trigger helps you to remember something quicker. Spring forward, fall back. Spring forward, fall back. And uh, be gentle with yourself as we have been springing forward. So in the meantime, while you're just figuring it all out, be sure to subscribe, like, and review, and be back again next week for another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better Show. 